So I'm leaving my house right now. Uh, tonight is July the 5th. We about to go check out the Cash Money reunion. Um, hearing some news like maybe Turk and Wayne might not be on stage tonight. I'm definitely not digging that. But um, we're going to see what's going to happen. So I'm about to get ready, like I say, to leave. Go and meet up with my partner, Mike. We and me and him might go hit up a party before we go to the Superdome. Or go get something to eat, something like that, before we go to the Superdome. I ain't sure yet, but we're going to figure all that out. Um, but yeah, it's drizzling right now. Hopefully the weather don't get worse. But check back with y'all in a little bit. So I done picked up the homie Mike. See my dog. He got the, what you got? The Lil Wayne shirt? Yeah. Check him out. So we walking through downtown in New Orleans, patching up uh, the Virgin Hotels right now. We ran into uh, the big homie Nat in traffic. He told us they had a, a, a soft opening for the homie Mo. New, new location. I don't know the name of it right now, but I'm gonna let y'all know when we get there. But we're gonna go check that out instead of going to the other party I was talking about earlier. We're gonna go check that out before we go to the Superdome. So we basically already in the area that we need to be in to get to the Superdome, you dig? So stay tuned with us for the night, you feel me? All right, so we on uh, we on the walk-in part right now to the Superdome right now. The rain that stopped. It was raining hard as a mug. It was like that. What that is? Hurricane Barrel or something. Must have came this way because they lied to us. We got caught up in uh. We got caught up at the place we was at. But my dog moved flipping, flipping spot. But now we walking into the Superdome now. I seen on my phone that uh Buster Rhymes was on the stage. He probably he probably done by now. We're trying to get in there.
check it out, man. Thank goodness the rain and all that stopped when we left. Um, the Superdome didn't let out till after two o'clock. That's how I remember Essence being back in the day. Didn't let out till after two o'clock. I ain't get back to my truck till like 2.45 in the morning. I'm sitting in the McDonald's line right now. I know that's unhealthy, but guess what? It's Essence weekend. I feel like getting me some chicken nuggets. But let me tell y'all this. Lil Wayne did come out. What the hell is this on my eye right here? Lil Wayne did come out, y'all. Lil Wayne came out. And, bruh, <laughs> Lil Wayne did not perform no Cash Money songs at all. No Hot Boy songs, none of that. He did all Young Money songs. He brought out his Young Money team, uh, J Mills, um, Gutter Gutter, Mac Man. Shout out to Mac Man, St. All Grad. Um, he brought out Young Money. He brought Young Money flashing all over the screen, all that type of stuff. He was just repping Young Money, though. He was not repping no Cash Money. Um, Turk did not come out. Um, they had special guest performances from um, Skullface, Two Chains, Bun B, and The Locks. Um, so that was dope. Um, they was fumbling. <laughs> um, they didn't know who was supposed to go next with a lot of stuff. Um, BG definitely was having a really good time. That's all I'm going to say. He was having a really, really good time on stage. He was humping the air. He was all over the place. He kept tying his hair and taking his hair out, putting his hair in, taking his hair. He was having a good time. I guess he was on that liquor. I don't think he could do no type of drugs or smoke or nothing. I'm not saying he did or didn't. You know what I'm saying? Because I know the man got paperwork on him, so I ain't trying to accuse nothing. He might have been drinking. Uh, Juve definitely had been drinking. He had a good time. He did his thing. Birdman was being Birdman. Birdman didn't remember none of his lyrics. None. He ain't know none of his lyrics. But, I mean, he ain't never write none of his lyrics in the first place. He Birdman. Um, Manny Fresh was having a good time. Manny Fresh said some interesting things on the mic when he was like, like when they was fumbling and not doing shit, he was like, man, I came here to work, man. Let's work. You know, and I, I think that was, you know, a little shot. Like, man, like, you know, y'all being unprofessional with some, some shit. But, you know, the crowd ain't really care. The crowd was just happy to see them and rock out with them. But like the way Wayne handled that son, this is the funniest part I'ma say. I kept telling everybody that was, that was listening to me and just talking to people. So Wayne must have then took some some fucking therapy and learned how to set boundaries. <laughs> because dog, Wayne cleared the stage of them boys. He ain't want them out there. Like I say, he had just straight young money songs, young money on the thing. He was not repping no cash money, he was not repping none of the old tracks, he ain't do none of the old music. He was just on doing him. It's like, like I say, it's like he didn't set boundaries. Like, look, I love y'all, but I ain't fucking with that. You know what I'm saying? Not doing it. So that's my little recap for now on, on it. You know what I'm saying? It was a good show, though, for people that was there. I feel sorry for the people who left early. Cause they had people in my row, you know what I'm saying? In front of me, all that, that was leaving out because cause they had the juvenile back that ass up and the way they had built it up, you thought the show was over with. And so a lot of people was leaving out, figuring they're going to beat the traffic and all that type of shit. And then next thing you know, you hear the, the lighters flick. And the, and the people like, y'all thought it was over? And then, boom, here come Wayne. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people, not a lot, lot, but a lot of people miss Lil Wayne and didn't, didn't, they didn't know. And I feel bad for them people, though. I ain't going to lie. I feel bad for them people because you spent your money and ain't fucking know you thought Wayne wasn't coming. That's that's fucked up. But that's my recap, you know what I'm saying? Essence Fest two, 2024, um, 30 year anniversary, Cash Money universe, uh, reunion. Um, it was dope. Overall, I say it was dope. I give it like a seven out of 10, seven and a half, something like that. Cause like, it was nice to see, you know what I'm saying? I say BG having such a good time on stage. You know, Birdman, Slim, you know, before it all started, Slim talking his shit, Birdman getting to talk his shit, you know, Mark Moriel coming out, you know, and it was like, yo, I was the man, 99, 2000, when he took over, all that type of shit, like, that shit was, like, dope, so, you know, it was dope, shout out to New Orleans, man, Cash Money did it.